And we have confirmation that the uh, payload retention latch assemblies have all been released. First step will be, uh, now that it is free of Endeavour's payload bay, to uh, raise the AMS up to a low hover position just above the payload bay. Once that is established, after a couple of minutes, the crew will be given a go to proceed on with uh, maneuvering it over the uh, side of Endeavour's payload bay up toward the International Space Station for a handoff to the station's robotic arm. The uh, shuttle's robotic arm now has the brakes on. It's uh, in the position now for the handoff. Uh, next up will be for the uh, station robotic arm. Uh, it's being um, operated by Greg Shamatov and uh, Greg Johnson in the uh, at the robotic workstation inside the space station, in particular in the cupola module repositioning the camera views uh, to uh, get a good look at the the AMS as the uh, station's robotic arm uh, gets ready to maneuver over to the AMS and capture the other grapple fixture. Inside is a um, dedicated robotics workstation with its own uh, screens allowing the crew members to uh, see the, the same view that you're seeing here uh, so that they can align properly before moving in for grapple. And in fact, the, the go has been given. The arm is uh, now in the process of being maneuvered in for the grapple. And a good capture is confirmed. The station robotic arm now is locked on to the grapple pin of the uh, alpha magnetic spectrometer, occurring uh, as Endeavour in the International Space Station track to the southwest of the Canary Islands. The uh, AMS is being positioned to its uh, final location uh, about one foot away. And we do now have confirmation of uh, complete of the uh, completed capture of the alpha magnetic spectrometer. It's uh, made its way to its uh, final home on the International Space Station. Uh, the uh, confirmation coming at 4.46 a.m. Central Time. <laughs> 